Oh, hey. I didn't see you come in. No, please. You're free to join me if you wish. Don't let me stop you. I promise it's fine. Yes, I'm sure. Who am I to say that you're not allowed in? I have as much authority as any other guest here. Which I guess includes you. <laughs> well, of course it's hot. What did you expect? It said on the way in that the water would be around, a uh, 100 degrees? Guess someone doesn't do a great job at paying attention. Oh, really? Then you must have seen for sure the clothes sign on the way in as well. Yeah. It said it in big red letters as you entered. It's hard to miss it. You'd almost have to be trying not to see it. Of course. I saw it too. I'm not as blind as some people are. <laughs> I just chose to ignore it, that's all. What's a sign gonna do? Rat me out? Yeah, it'll grow legs and tell the nearest employee, who is probably dead asleep by now, considering it's almost... what? Midnight? At least I think it is. I didn't bring my phone with me. I bet they thought there wasn't anyone stupid enough to try and pull something like this. Or, at the very least, who would even be over here this late anyway? Hell, when I came in here, I was thinking the same thing. And it looks like I stand correct. I never thought anybody else would be as stupid as I was. But then you showed up. Right on cue. Consider it a compliment. I'm glad somebody else from our school isn't afraid to bend some of the rules. No offense to them, but none of them are that fun when it comes to, well, <laughs> really anything. Looks like we got ourselves an exception. Always nice to see a new one, especially because they don't come around too often. Although, don't take it too much to heart. You're still not exactly the type of person I'd consider a risk taker. Got a ways to go before I'd give you that title. For now, we'll just leave you as a not boring person. <laughs> hey, take it or leave it. You should be grateful I'm even calling you anything above the rest of them. I bet they'd be dying to get my approval. <laughs> Not really. Honestly, who cares what some random girl thinks? I guess whatever people think is cool is what the standard has to be for everyone else. Just because I don't agree doesn't mean I get to change it. Ah, if only life was that simple. But it's not. Unfortunately. That reminds me. I forgot to ask, but what are you even doing out here in the first place? You never struck me as the type of person to go out on their own lonesome like this. Let alone be out this late at all. Now that I mention it, I don't think I've ever seen you past 11 o'clock. Plus, I swear you left to go to bed a couple hours ago. I never expected to see you again tonight. Although, I am gladly surprised I did. So, what is it? What's the all-important reason for breaking that wondrous sleep schedule of yours? And don't worry, I'm already sitting down for this one. <laughs> Ugh, 
that's it. Can't sleep. <sighs> you could have at least made it seem more dramatic than that. Or maybe just gave it a little bit more emotion. Overall, that was extremely disappointing. I mean, come on. Where's the energy? If you were really that tired, you wouldn't be all the way out here. You really gotta go out of your way to get all the way back here. Believe me, the walk is kind of a pain. All I'm saying is that you need to live it up a little bit. You always act like you have places to be, when in reality, you're just on your phone back in the room. We're on vacation, and you're supposed to have fun. That's pretty much the whole point of it. Well, it doesn't help that you're asleep by 10 o'clock. All while the rest of us are at a bar without a care in the world. I know you haven't really seen it, but the nightlife here is really nice to say the least. You know... You should really come with us one of these days. It's not like you're doing anything. Plus, that beloved sleep schedule of yours doesn't seem to be doing a lot for you anyway. How about tomorrow night? I mean, we only have a few more nights here. What's the point in waiting? Then it can just be you and me. I can take you out for a drink, wherever you want to go. Oh, and how about to add a little bit of more fun on top of that? You have to stay up past midnight. Might as well, right? It's just for one night. I promise you'd love it. Personally, I'd take up that offer in a heartbeat. A night out with you sounds like the perfect way to spend the rest of my evening. And don't tell me you wouldn't like to spend the night with me either. Come on. We've been pretty good friends. Who knows how long we've known each other. Almost forever at this point. Although, we definitely have not talked nearly enough in the time that we've had. Well, I don't know about you, but once or twice a day doesn't cut it. But now that you have nothing to do, you really have no excuse. Just think of it as making up for lost time. Exactly. There's really nothing you can do. You're going, whether you like it or not. here. How about this? If you go and end up not having the time of your life, I'll never ask you again. Because obviously, having to spend time with me is just such a pain. <laughs> Finally, I was starting to think you'd never say yes. Honestly, I don't know if you know this, but you can be pretty, no, very insistent sometimes. It's funny, you actually remind me of one of Ryan's friends. Not surprisingly, he's also kind of a dork like you. You can't even deny it either. I think we both know I'm right. I think what just happened was a perfect example. But, if it wasn't, I have countless others if you need me to remind you. Let me guess. I bet you wanted to go this entire time, but you were too scared to admit it. You're just nervous to go out with me. 
I mean, am I right or am I right? Seems like you want to say it, but for some reason you can't even get a single word out. Goodness, it's worse than I thought. Resorting to a simple head nod of all things. <laughs> Maybe dork is an understatement. I'm just kidding. It's always nice to poke a little fun at each other. Ah, the blush. A little later than expected, but it's there nonetheless. <laughs> Jeez. I love it when you do that. It really fits you well. But, um, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. It's a yes to the date? Wait, what? That face of yours just turned a couple of shades brighter. Did I say something? All I asked was if you wanted to go to dinner. I don't find anything strange about that. I called it a what? <laughs> no, I think you just misheard me. A date and a dinner are two totally different things. I don't think I can mix them that easily. Well, you must be hearing things because I absolutely did not. Sorry to disappoint. A date would require me to have feelings for you. Well, I guess we would have to have feelings for each other. Not just me. Yeah. That'd be funny if we did. Unless... N never mind. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing. Nothing. I should never have brought it up. It's... complicated. But you shouldn't have to worry about it. Well, then you're just going to be worrying about nothing. I promise it's nothing. I don't even know. <laughs> I think I'm talking way too much. Enough that I should probably shut up right about now. If that answers your question. But against my better judgment, somehow you're able to keep me running my mouth. Why do you have that effect on me? Look, I know it sounds suspicious, but it's nothing bad. I think. Fine. Yes, it might be something, but it's nothing you should be worried about. I would say I can trust you enough with anything, but this is the only time I might have to keep a secret from you. I know it's the first, but it should be the last. Really, I promise it's not for a bad reason. I have only your best intentions in mind. But don't focus on it too much. I don't want you tearing yourself apart over something so small. I'd almost feel like it was my fault. Even if you were the one who forced it out of me in the first place. I... I don't even know what to do. I want to tell you, but just can't. But now, I feel like I almost have to tell you. I'm kind of too far in to say it's nothing. I, I don't want to lie to you, but I don't want to tell the truth either. It's not because I don't trust you. It's that I don't trust myself if that makes any sense. 
it's something that I don't even understand myself. Why do you have to be the way you are? I don't get why you do the things you do. You just always have to be perfect. There's really no other way to put it. Just in the way you act, the way you speak, and everything else about you. And I don't know how you do it. It's something that I've always questioned about you, but never found the answer. And I never found a way to tell you, but now you're here and You know what? Screw it. I love you. Yes, I love you. More than you could ever know. <sighs> See? Now does it make sense? Maybe now, but do you get why I wanted that to be a secret? Something I didn't want you to know. I trust you with anything, but when it comes to losing you, I can't take any chances. You'd understand, right? Yes. Losing you. What if you don't feel the same? It's not like we could just go on as friends after this. Pretend this never happened. It would never work. Trust me, I know. It's happened to me before, and I promised myself it would never happen again. But history tends to repeat itself, doesn't it? I don't even know why I told you. I was just thinking too quickly, and before you knew it, it was already too late. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Look, it's not your fault if you don't like me. I promise I won't take it too personally. Seriously, I'm not forcing you to say that. If you don't like me, I totally get it. Are you... sure? Wait, do you... do you really like me? Honestly, please don't lie to me. <laughs> y you do? I... <laughs> I... I don't even know what to say. I would have had this all planned out if I had known I'd be confessing tonight. Um, <laughs> but I'm left with nothing. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in shock. I can barely even comprehend what you said. <laughs> I'm kind of bad with this whole, like, confessing thing, if you couldn't tell. It's not my first time, but I didn't exactly nail the last one either. What? Don't tell me this is your first time. You're handling this a lot better than I am. I guess you're just a natural. Believe me, I know an expert when I see one. And you happen to fit the criteria. Well, what I'm saying is the truth. You're just a lot better than me. Honestly, I almost think you're out of my league. How did you fall in love with someone like me? There's so many better people out there, but... You chose me. You can tell me why, but I still won't understand. I'll just have to consider it luck. Maybe one day I might. 
But that day sure isn't today. And it probably won't be tomorrow either. Or the day after that. And probably the day after that. But all that matters is that you like me. And I like you too. Right? I don't think I should be asking such stupid questions. But this is one thing I just have to know. If that's alright with you. You still want to go on that date? 